So what up y'all? Today I'm here, hold on. The camera lens is foggy. Today I'm here at Tuxacheney Hiking Trail in DeSoto National Forest in Saucier, Mississippi, a Saucier. And uh, my game plan, I'm gonna try to hike in as far as I can and then camp and then make my way back, you know? <laughs> in, a, in an ideal world, it would be to make it to the POW camp, which is I think like 14 miles that way. But uh, if I get six miles in, I'm happy because then I'll wake up in the morning and hike the other six miles back. So let me get my camping, I mean my hiking stuff ready and get on the trail and I'll turn y'all back on. No firearms. Well. National Recreation Trail. Tucks a chain. Oh, it's nice to be backpacking, y'all. This place is about um, an hour and 40 minutes from my house. So not that far. And the other time me and Michelle um, did this, I'll link it up in the cards above probably right about now. We, uh, we came from the POW place and only did about three miles in because we came to a creek crossing in February and it was pretty damn cold and we didn't want to, um, you know, get wet because we end up freezing that night anyway because I was unprepared. But uh, I got two liters of water and then another liter of uh, dirty storage and I got my two filters with me. So first little bridge crossing. We doing it y'all. With no taste or smell, I'm doing it. Two weeks ago y'all had COVID and uh, it, it was pretty bad, but now I'm on the recovery. So we all good. This cool little swampy area y'all. Hopefully the whole trail ain't like this. But that looks like it keeps water because it's got lily pads. That just ain't some overflow. This is one of the blazes for this trail. So there's a heat advisor today. It's supposed to be like, feel like a 108. So I'll probably have the trail to myself. Coming up on our first mile marker. Or well, 12 and a half mile marker. So about a half mile in. So let me keep on going. Good little flat spot for a camp about a mile in. So far it's been well manicured as you can see. Well, I got a nice path. Only ate one spider so far. Um, I'm glad the rain kind of held off of me today. One mile in, look, feels good. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that's all sketchy bridge. Oof. Sketch. to try to film <laughs> in case I fall in the water and it's funny. Ah. 
Nice little brick. Pretty magnolia trees. And then I just came over this bridge with a nice creek. I don't need no water right now. If so, I would have shambled down and got some water. Pretty cool looking. So far, it's been pretty covered, y'all. Which is good with this heat advisory. My dad's so worried about me. I'd like to say thank you to the 92 subscribers and I'm trying to push for 100 and then I'm gonna do a small giveaway. Love, peace, protect nature. Not a little bridge, not a little water source. Oh, look, we had a big ass skink, y'all. I got you, bud. I got you. I got you. Whew. I don't know if I want to drink from that one. Ah, maybe it's running. Huh. Mile two, y'all. With a little bit of elevation. Two sketch. Good thing there ain't much water under it. Oh, look at that cool lizard. So far, I've been on a pretty long boring straightaway for about two miles now. Uh-oh, watch out, a little raging river. So, uh, I'm still on the straightaway, but it got a little narrow. Oh, with a big spider. Enjoying the day. Sweat my nuts off, but that's to be expected, y'all. Check out what I found, y'all. Hey, little buddy. Thank you for being on the show. Hey, can I ask you for your subscription? He kind of looks like a water turtle, but he also kind of looks like a box turtle. Look. Did you follow me from uh, Bogus Hitter Choo Choo? Thank you for the subscription, man. Everyone counts. I just did a little... Uh... <clears throat> Let me turn you off this way. I just did a little road crossing. And now, as you can see, it's a little bit more covered trail. But I got a little breeze, it's feeling good. <clears throat> Another cool little inland lake slash retention pond. If I needed some water, I'd get it here too. But look, so far they've been these little purple berries everywhere. I wish I knew if they're edible or not. I ain't trying to kill myself. Not a little sketchy. Ah. A little sketchy. So what up y'all? I'm just taking a little break. Getting some water. Found a nice log to sit on, but uh wrong pocket, damn it. Time to spray some more uh tick spray on. I just pulled three off of my legs. Yeah, that's the only thing that kind of wigs me out is ticks, but whatever. It's easy enough to see them and pull them off, so probably before I go to sleep, I'll uh, at least check all my legs and socks and feet and stuff for uh, ticks. But that's what I'm using, uh, Repel Tick Defense Unscented. 
Not that I can smell right now. Oh, it's been good so far. It's been hilly. Had a couple of obstacles here and there to um, to go over some sketchy boards, but so far so good. And I got cloud cover and a good breeze, so it's been feeling pretty good. I'm still covered in sweat. That's a that's a a given, but uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. I couldn't ask for a better day. Back on trail, man. What's in, y'all? I'm doing pretty good. I'm not setting the world on fire, but uh, but being fat and out of shape and post-COVID, I'm doing pretty good. So I bought a knock bag, and I can't remember where I put it in my pack. So for right now, I'm just gonna sacrifice one of my bottles to dirty water. Let's see. Okay. Oh, on the plus side, this water is nice and cool, y'all. Yeah? Okay. Got me water. Check. Now let's get some... Some uh, filtering going. Let's see. Mm. Oh, it's nice and cold, too. And it don't have a shitty taste. That's always a plus, y'all. I am going to top off my one liter, one and a half liter. Then I'm going to fill this up and keep this on it. Because this water tastes good, y'all. Alright y'all, I ate me an apple. I hope that the pretty little video, underwater video, the blue go right there came out in the shiners. But here's my next challenge. I gotta shimmy across this little, <laughs> this tree right here, then hop right there, and then the trail picks up right there. Because here's where the old bridge was, and I imagine a flood knocked it out. And uh, yeah, I've, I've just been enjoying feeding these minnows some sort of shiner they got like a silver dot on top of the head and i seen a bluegill and hopefully the underwater footage came out sketchy Yep. Ghost. 
state to state. Ooh, that's for you, Michelle. Listen to a little BG trying to uh, cross. Ah, got it! Yeah. Cool little bar, uh, cool little boardwalk that I'm happy's here. Possibly a campsite, but it looks like it's a floodplain where you go to sleep, wake up rain, and have to move. Look at those cool things. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Chico State Park. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank y'all for watching, y'all. A little bit of an accomplishment for me. I think I'm about to make it right to Airy Lake because well, there's a sign for it. Let me get out the middle of the street before I get smoked. And then the good thing at Airy Lake, there's like a little well pump thing that has nice cold spring water. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Or a bathhouse. Oh, well, I guess COVID. Some bitch. I ain't never used one of these. Oh man, that feels good. Oh, this face is pretty. So right now, I'm uh, sitting on my little camp chair because I don't want ticks all in my booty or in my nether region, but uh, I'm sitting at Airy Lake and uh, they got a good, I'm trying to finish off this bottle of water so I can fill it up at the little pump that you just seen in the, um, the clip before this, but uh, I'm probably going to eat me some vanity sausages or a little bit of lunch and maybe take a little nap and I'm going to decide if I want to go any further forward, you know? So I went and took a little walk around the lake. Just get the lay of the land. I'm just weighing my options. Should I camp here? The only thing is if I cook me some coffee in the morning and I got to take a morning dump. There ain't, there ain't many spots to kind of dig a hole and get out of view so you can take a dump. So that's the only problem. I might go a mile or two into the forest that way, but I hear like bulldozing and track hoeing. So I wonder if that's on the trail or I don't know what's really what, what's going on. But I don't want to get that far and can't find a camp spot. So yeah, this is ugh, lunch, Vianney sausages or more chicken Vianney sausages. Mm, get a little salt back in my life even though I can't taste it because of the uh, lingering COVID effects I can taste the salt so I think I found my spot y'all it's shady it's semi-flat it's not directly in the pathway um I got a pretty airy lake view and now I think I'm gonna start setting up setting up camp all right got the tent body up 
and the ground sheet down and some stakes and now I'm gonna put on the um the rainfly. So here's another little gizmo I bought y'all. Um oh, 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 don't wanna waste all my fluid. So the last time I was cooking, I almost burnt myself because this almost tipped over. So I bought this little thing that goes on the bottom, you know, and it, it holds the bigger one, which I have, and it holds the small one. And you know, it's a lot stable platform to work with, so you don't burn yourself, because nothing ruins a camping trip like burning yourself while cooking. I think while I'm just chilling at camp, I'm gonna uh, try some more Kuju coffee. This one is medium roast oak chocolate honey. weirdo boiling water in a saucepan. And don't burn myself. no musical talent in my body let's try this coffee I doubt I'll be able to taste it because of my no taste but let's see bitter coffee it is what it is but uh it's about 340 and uh I think I'm gonna relax maybe till about six and then I'll turn y'all back on and I'm gonna cook dinner Tonight's meal is Alpine Air Spicy Sausage Pasta. Pasta with sausage crumbles and a creamy cheese sauce filled with a dash of cayenne pepper. So in true me fashion, I misplaced my spoon. So I'm uh, I'm a, I'm a stir it up with this. Then I guess I'm gonna eat it with my hands. I don't really know. But let me get to cooking. All right, let's see y'all. So in true Nick fashion, I can't find my spoon. So. I'm going to try some uh, somewhat chopsticks, so I think it's right here. It's been sitting in my 10 minutes. I can't really tell you how it tastes because I have no taste, but yeah, let's see. It's gonna take me forever to eat it. Oh man. Pretty good, but I don't really have no flavor, no taste, so. <laughs> I'm gonna let it cool down and just eat it with my hands. So thank you to the kindness of the campers out here. They gave me a spoon and a fork. So I'm good. No more chopsticks for this man. What's good, this has some cayenne in it so I can actually taste something, you know? 
but uh, let me finish this up. I uh, also dinner was good. <clears throat> I'm just sitting back, relaxing. Um, next, I'm gonna have me a dessert astronaut ice cream bar pie thing. And uh, I think my plans for tonight are to sit and just enjoy nature until the bugs chase me into my tent and then call it a night until the morning.